Hey Team Beal, I'm Senior Airman Benjamin Boogening, and this is your first edition of Commander's Corner, and I'm sitting here with Colonel Broadwell, your Wing Commander. Now sir, what can you tell me about Commander's Corner? Why are we here today? Uh, Commander's Corner uh, is, um, its purpose is to be able to communicate with airmen. One of the things that I've known for a very long time uh, is that communicating with airmen is extremely important, and it's always been a consistent challenge of mine. Uh, I'm, try, I'm trying any avenue possible, and this is, uh, this is the latest one. So one of the questions that some people have been having is about the uh, Big Idea program. Um, how has that already had an impact on our base so far? Well, it's, uh, there are th currently 32 Big Ideas uh, that are being tracked by the mission support group uh, that are in coordination. Uh, so there's, there's, there's a decent volume of uh, activity underway. Uh, some, some early successes that we've had. Uh, we, we got approval for the maintainers to have split coveralls so that during the, uh, uh, the warmer months in the summer they don't have to have their full coveralls. We've made improvements to the track with the water fountains and lighting. Uh, there's, there's constant improvement in the, in the gym facilities. The, uh, the California Cafe is destined to open here in January at, at Beale Air Force Base. But the Big Idea program is as much about a culture as it is about the individual projects. Uh, I mean, I want to institute the culture of, of constant improvement. I want airmen of all ranks uh, associated with the Ninth Reconnaissance Wing to feel empowered to make, uh, to offer their ideas uh, to make improvements for everybody. So some airmen are concerned that the Big Idea program won't be implemented as, as quickly as they, you know, as, as it's kind of being um, perceived. Uh, how do you guys make sure that anything that's brought to your attention is kind of done quickly? You bet. So. Uh, their concerns are well-founded. Uh, there are some things that we are constrained by, whether they be authorities or money. And so if, if we are constrained by uh, those items, sometimes uh, the airman that has the great idea, it may not be implemented. Uh, however, if we do have the authority and the money, uh, they can rest assured that we're going to get after each one of their ideas. The way that it's implemented is on a bi-weekly basis, those ideas come straight to me and to the command chief. Uh, and then we get the ideas and we task them right out to the, um, to the staff. Uh, to be able to, to seek implementation uh, and then they have to report back to us uh, at the next staff meeting and so it's it's a pretty rapid process they can rest assured that their ideas will get straight to us. Uh, so to shift gears get more on a personal level um, what is a uh, common tradition for you around the holidays? One of the f most fun traditions in the Broadwell household is on Christmas Eve uh, as we're sitting around uh, getting ready for the, um, Christmas morning we, we lay out uh, s old sweatshirts or sweaters and we have to we cre have to create our own ugly sweater uh, hmm. and then we, we vote and whoever has the ugliest sweater they just have the honors of having the ugliest sweater <laughs> and then we have to wear it the next morning uh, when we take our, our early Christmas morning pictures so all right sir do you have any kind of holiday message for our for airmen here on Beale you bet so as the holiday seasons approach I just want to uh, to ask all of our airmen at Beale Air Force Base in the 9th Reconnaissance Wing to just take some time and reflect on uh, the impact that you're having on uh, on the nation and its national security. Uh, the airmen at Beale Air Force Base should be tremendously proud of, of the impact that they're having. I certainly am. You should take the time to reconnect with uh, your loved ones, friends, and family around the seas and, uh, and never forget those that are deployed. We currently at Beale Air Force Base have 416 members who are deployed around the globe uh, and every one of them has friends and family back home and if you can reach out and, uh, and help them through the holiday season uh, I'd surely appreciate it. Thanks so much for what you do. I look forward to seeing you back in the new year. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much for taking uh, time out of your day for us. Uh, if you have any questions, please just send them our way, either on our Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you can even directly email us. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll get them to Colonel Rodwell. And uh, yeah, join us next time for Commander's Corner.